Oh, I just decided to sack off college altogether in the end. Especially now I got Soph. To be honest, didn't really want to go in the first place, but the vicar was just trying to push me into it. Basically just trying to live his dream through me. And anyway, he's latched onto Kerry now, and he's leeching the life out of her. And she can't see how toxic he is. So the trick is to just get the drowning like that. It's been an interesting few months, actually. I've been spending a lot more time with Kerry, which is great. Um, she's come on leaps and bounds with regard to her outlook on life. Oh, who been looking after them runners? They're absolutely fucked. Well, Sorry for swearing. Because I've changed massively since you've been here last. Because I've reformed myself. So I've been hanging out with the vicar and that, and he's sort of taught me the way of the world. Like, how to be kind to others and treat people the way I would want to be treated. This is marvellous. It's lovely, isn't it? Some people will always be scared of me, and I can't change that no matter how nice I am. But there's a balance to be had between being nice and being feared. Like Dr Bernardo's, he was just too nice and not feared. So he just got overrun by orphans and everyone just took the piss. Yes! 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 That's what I'm talking oh. about. <laughs> just well a bit done. less power now. Well, exactly. You got it. If I meet it in the middle, then I'll get there. Yeah. What's this? All right. I was playing a bit of golf. Why? It's fun. <laughs> that was mental, though, wasn't it? That was very good indeed. Curtin, it's so good to see you. Uh, Vicar, Sophie, Sophie, Vicar. Hi, Sophie. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too, Vicar. <laughs> so, how are you? Good. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, probably the best I've been in a long time. Look at that! Look at that! Yeah. Well, that's brilliant. I'm I'm so happy for you both. Curtin's always gone on about you, Vicar. No, is he? <laughs> no, no, no. But you know, not. Curtin, you can pop in any time to see me for a cup of tea and a catch-up. Don't really like tea. Well, just a catch-up then. Don't really like catching up. It's not my thing. Well, I'm uh, running Secret Cinema Club on Thursday. If you two wanted to come, we're doing Greece. It should be fun. Oh, I love Greece. Oh, so That's do my I. favourite. Yeah, we love to. Oh, would you? That would be great. Well, yeah, you should definitely come. Yeah, we will. Yeah, well, yeah fine. Whatever. Great. All right, yeah. So probably, nice to yeah. meet you. Yeah. And, and you, Sophie. That's great. But if you want to pop in before then, Kurt, and you know where I am. Yeah. Sticky and nose in everyone's business. Oh, but you seem really nice. Yeah, because you're a sociopath. That's what I want you to think. It's all just an act. I just watched this video of this girl doing a random act of kindness on YouTube. She basically paid for this old man shopping at the till. And this old man was like about 90 years old. And he's so fucking old, like you can see through his skin. And he just starts bawling his eyes out. And he's like, you're fucking joking me. This ain't fucking real life. I just thought, I want to make someone feel like that. Because that's, I re that's what I would do. What? What? As a random act of kindness. As a what? As a random act of kindness. I tell you what would be a random act of kindness. You wiping your ass properly, so I don't have to smoke shite out of your liquors every time I do a bloody one. I don't know what she's talking about because I do wipe my ass properly. OK? I just think I was in denial about a lot of shit, even Soph. And I was taking it out on the vicar, even though it weren't his fault. Thinking about it now, me and Soph just weren't right for each other. Oh, no, I just going around Kerry's house. She really wants me to come over. Yeah, probably be nice hanging out with her again, just us two. Like the old days, really. All right? All right. Hi. All right. What are you doing here? Well, Kara called me. I called her. All right. OK. So, do you want to talk? Because this is just, this is so silly. It is so silly. Yeah, it's just, it is what it is, so, really. So, do you want to go out the side? Give her a kiss. Well, uh, why? What for? Oh, I thought you said you wanted to fix things. I don't remember saying you that. You did. You told me you wanted to fix things. You did. I did, yeah, but... There's, there's a vicar. Oh. 
So you definitely don't want to fix things with her? No. Sorry. Um, yeah. Probably should go now. OK. Yeah. Sorry, can I just get round you? I'm so sorry, but is it all right if you leave my house? It's just I only kind of know you through a curtain. Is that OK? Yeah? So sorry about that. Oh, see ya. I'm not quite sure what... Cos I must have read that completely wrong there. It's her own fault, actually, cos she led me down this path. You know? I... <sighs> she was sort of doing it to me. That's the thing. She was going to me, oh, you know, you get us back together. It's not really my fault, is it? I think she's just living in dream world. Well, she wanted it to go that way and it just wasn't going to go that way. She even got me thinking that they'd get back together. But that's manipul manipulative people do that. And he's better off without her. Got another letter today. And I think it's the worst of the lot. I'm no closer to finding out who it is either. It's pretty scary because they're coming from my door, which means they probably know where I live. Oh, all right, man. All right, Care. Hey, I just thought I'd let you know. I got the baby Oleg now from a smoke-free home and a pet-free home. So the set's complete if you want to come round and have a look at him, because I remember you saying how much you liked the set, didn't you? Oh, yeah, cheers, man. You all right? Yeah. What's the matter with your face? Have you gone off comparing the meerkats.com or what? No, I ain't gone off comparing meerkats.com. I just... Well, you don't not. I've come all the way over here because you said about the baby Oleg and I thought you was interested. Yeah, no, I am. I am really interested in right? the Oleg. What's the matter then? Dear Kerry, I cannot stop fantasising about you. My latest was the best. I'm cleaning out my shed when you come in and tell me you want to sand down a chair leg. So you use my mouth as a vice and tell me I cannot breathe. I breathe involuntarily to stay alive and you punch me in the lungs and tell me how pathetic I am. A sick, sick bastard. I just, I don't know what to do, man. That's all right. I'll help you. We'll find him, yeah? And we're going to fuck him up. You'd be safe with me, Care. Oh, cheers, man. That's all right. That's what I do. <sighs> oh, dear. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. OK. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh God, oh God. No, 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 that's bad. Yeah. Oh. And out it goes. Just like that. Right. Next load. Just a quick question, Kirsty. Um, yes. Are you going to do it like that every time? I, I shouldn't think so, no. Right. OK. Look at this. Whoa. I never leave the house without a pair of these. Mm. Why, you ask? Well, this is why.
Okay. See that? Pure martial arts. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Do a defense or you can do a punching. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, all right, mate. Yeah. yeah. Ah! Uh, yeah. No, no, don't worry, I've got me range. I've yeah. got me range. Now, what am I going to do now? Yeah. Defense or I punch? Don't, I don't we know. don't know. We I don't know. It's a punch! <laughs> and I can get quite close to you. Yes! Can you put me on the record? Yes! Yeah. yeah. Right. Get your cakes out, your pair of fannies. Go. What you got today, Dan? Uh, Victoria sponge, mate. Oh, Classic. Oh, lovely. Oh, Dan. That's not bad at all. Especially after your Battenberg disaster. Oh. Cheers, Mark. Right, first, what's your offer today? Well. There she is, in all her glory. Lemon drizzle. What's this? Is that shop ball? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Look, I, I did try and bake one myself. I did, but I just can't do it. I can't bake. <sighs> Listen. No baker gets it right the first time. Yeah. That is the beauty of baking. It's trial and error. Do you think Dan could have produced that exquisite Victoria sponge yeah. without fucking up his Battenberg. No, no way. I mean, even the great Mr Kipling would admit to fucking up his first couple of Bakewells, right? Yeah, I suppose he would. <laughs> you need to get some more confidence, Coach. Yeah. yeah. Well, do you know what? I think I'll, be, I'll give it a bloody good go next time. I really will. I, I can't thank you enough, you know. That's the right attitude. Mm. Yeah. But remember, you've got to do forfeit. Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, what do you mean? Well, you brought in a shop bought, so you've got to do a forfeit, mate. That's the rules. Uh, what forfeit? Uh, slap that drink out of that woman's hand. Yeah, oh, go shit. on, Kirsty, no. that would deem you. No, that's, that's slugs. I know him. Yeah, but so what? Well, he's just... Uh, he's had a really hard time. He's had cancer. Right. You know? Oh, mm -hmm. grow a pair, Kirst. Yeah, he ain't going to do it, mate. He's a fanny, isn't no, he? No, I ain't a fanny. I just... I... Oh, fuck. Hi, girl. Go on, Kirsty. All right, slugs, mate. Wait, mate, how's it going? It's not good. Oh, really? What's wrong? It's really low, mate. Why? Just found out. Kay's been sending messages to other guys on Facebook. Shit. What sort of messages? Sexual, mostly. Oh, God. Oh. So sorry to hear that, mate. Thanks. Uh, she said she doesn't know what she wants. Yeah. I'm going over there now to see if I can work things out. Mm. Well, it will, it will work itself out, mate. There's, it always, yeah. I hope so. She's really fucked in the head, mate. Yeah. Just, I don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Oh, nice one, Curtin. Nice one, mate. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Well, Mandy very kindly offered to spend some time at my house for protection and that. She reckons it could be quite serious and it could be very dangerous. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, the reason I've offered to protect Carrie is because I used to be in exactly the same situation before because I was a stalker for about three or four years. And uh, it's got really bad at one point because they were starring in Jack and the Beanstalk at the Everyman Theatre. I broke into their dressing room and just and I stole all their shoes and that. Police got involved. I thought you were stalked on. No, I was a stalker. Oh. Yeah, because the more I loved them, the more they rejected me. The more they rejected me, the more I wanted to kill them, see? That's just love, I suppose. <laughs>